closet. Welcome, new student. Oh, uh, this is something for Sam for her new school. Oh my god, you need a box of colored pencils? That's awesome! A positive attitude! Sam doesn't have one of those. <laughs> oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Well, we found out what the creepy noise was, was the television. How do you... Hey, are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm at the back behind you. Wave if you get this and write back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha, and yes, I'm new. What's up? She thought that since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either, and so I thought I'd ask something if you don't mind. Yes, no. No, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it just your uncle who went psycho, or does it run in the family? What? Oh, I thought something moved and it scared the poop out of me. Yes, we're turning everything on. Let's just turn everything on. I want all of the lights to happen. Damn, thought this might help. Love, Dad. Oh, it doesn't actually say love. He doesn't actually care. Just kidding. Um, those are some interesting clothes. Very 90s. Like, early 90s, though. How old is this book? It doesn't say. It's a piece of cake. Maybe. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, you and you have pieces? to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. So then I stalked her hardcore at the arcade, and I kicked her ass at Street Fighter. Oh, someone likes the X-Files. Someone made a... Shut up, lightning. Nobody cares. Is there a... Yeah, crouch. Crouch! Pillow fort. Hauntings and poltergeists. Find the... Find the truth behind the doors. Okay. Oh, I can't throw it. I was hoping I could throw it. Anything interesting in here? Button. Bratmobile. Yeah. All right. Oh, I already checked this. Durr. Okay. Notify under new dr Oh, okay. This is. Wait, what? Who's David? Oh, from David to Terrence. Is that Dad? Terry, okay. Uh, oh. God, <laughs> VHS tapes. <laughs> Remember when you watched things and they weren't like automatically in uh, widescreen how they're supposed to be? Like how they were filmed? Terry, have you been da -da -da, published author? Da -da 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 -da. Don't tell me what to do, Mike. 
Holy wait, that was from forever ago. My god. That was right while we were born. Hold on, I was 20, I mean 73. Right? 73. How young is Sam? She's still in high school. I don't know. Boop. The Heaven at the Edge of the World, Samantha Greenbrier, Grade 2. The Turtle People, Part 1. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the Black Pirate Ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horace Island. The first mate said, Looks like you thought too soon! The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out uh, on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, You're never going to find the edge. There ain't no paradise and your father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? <laughs> the first mate yelled out, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world, and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Aw, you were a cute second grader. Also, you have good taste in music. Good job, sister. Did it just swear? National Forest! Wow, this is an old piece of it. This is like freaking nine years old. I don't like this room. Okay, now it's okay. I'm gonna turn everything on. Oh, dude, you know what that reminds me of? Um, when I was little, my mom used to watch, um, Poirot, and the intro always freaked me out a little bit. This totally looks like, like the weird abstract thing that was going on in the Poirot intro. Oh, what is this? Yes, I want to read it. I want that folder. That folder is rad. Greenbrier. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, gross. Genitalia. <laughs> Hold on, I have to read this now. Um, reproductive System Worksheet 6, The Menstrual Cycle, a novella. The early morning of September 1st, 1939, Essa Glates stares out the window of her... Gl Glates? We're just going to go for Glates. The window of the train as it travels from Vienna back to her home village of Walloon in Poland. Sorry. As the train rumbles along and the sun rises over the countryside, she can only think of what her dear Boris loved, the boy she is engaged to wed. Meanwhile, deep within her guts, an <laughs> ovum starts to develop. As his train approaches its destination, her heart races, the lining of the uterus is getting thick and soft. As Essa steps off the train, her eyes dart quickly across the gathered crowd. Then there, her dear Boris, still in his baker's smock, he must have dropped his early morning duties at his father's shop to come meet her. Her heart skips a beat. <laughs> the ovary releases the ovum. It travels through the fallopian tube. Over the wee... Over the wheezing of the steam engine, a deep hum grows. It's coming from the sky. Dark shadows pass over the station, a whistling sound. Essa, her thoughts only a second faster than the bombs, 
reaches out towards her dear Boris across the crowd. Their eyes lock and the moment freezes. The flash and smoke envelops him almost instantly. This story is sad. In the assault by German forces, almost 75% of the people in her hometown are killed. The rest, including Essa and for a time Borislav, huddle in a half-destroyed church. He is blind, his legs are missing, bandaged with torn bedsheets. Essa's egg will not be meeting a sperm. It dissolves. About two weeks later, Boris loses his grip on life. Essa has given up her rations to keep Boris alive, but in the end, nothing can save him. Since the lining of the uterus is not needed for a pregnancy, it comes out through the vagina. Essa vows to survive. She sets off to join the Polish resistance as a daring spy and saboteur. Another ovum starts to develop in one of the ovaries, and the process begins again. It is incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. Really? She, her, her teacher was mad about that? But she's obviously well-read in history and menstrual cycles and, like, a whole bunch of other crap. My sister's a great writer. Teach. See? World history right next to the folder. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Janice, thank you for having Danny over here, no harm. Oh, that's the neighbor. He's missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Danny asked if he could lend Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighting tape, and I gave him I gave my permission. No hurry returning it. Let Samantha know that she's welcome back to our house to visit anytime. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. It's kind of true. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. That's a lot. So moving away has been folks. a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. It's kind of, um, yeah. a little sad, though. I wish you had a week. Like, oh, tell me why. Irish mosquito. Oh, daddy, tell me why can I live? Like, shouldn't you? Without you, da 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 he. Like, not. Oh, no, use people for the items they own. And I think you've got me craving night and day. Come back and take these blues. Poor I'm dad. Take your pale wig. Then play me some trumpet in your original wig. <laughs> That's enough of that. Okay, what else do we have? 